they know they know one can. They don't know can. The upbringing, um, you growing up, what was that like? Mm. How was that? So I'm not one of these dudes to be like, bro, I'm gutter, I'm this, I'm that. Man, I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm. Uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I look the part, but I don't act the part. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches, and I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad, no, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't, right. know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women, now the kickback of that is be quiet. I'm going to be quiet for the man and handle his business. You know, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Or oh, oh, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be submissive to a man and handle his business. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to say. So what, what is your? But it's ways to do it. And I'm not just about to sit up there and beat up my, my, my queen. No, I ain't saying like that. But I'm also going to gonna also tell the men to start being men, bro. Absolutely. Like, that that sucker shit should not be rewarded. And what sucker shit? So you know when 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 a person when a person carries himself social media wise and it's a fraud in real life. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more to every person that got money or every person who's rich isn't a real one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think that gets kind of misconstrued in this society now because a lot of people have money, but they're not genuine people, you know. Right. And I pride myself, everybody who knows me knows, like, bro, Cam's a solid dude. He keeps his circle extremely small. I'm not afraid to be by myself. Uh, quick example, uh, I had two of my oldest children uh, birthday last week. And I'm in the mall by myself. I found solitude in being by myself. Yeah. And a, a young man approached me and was like, hey, bro, I know your cousin. And I'm like, okay, what's that? Like, who? You know, he, he spoke his name. And, uh, you know, I proceeded to keep walking, getting my children their birthday gifts. Then, you know, he, the same dude kind of followed me into the, to the store and was like, hey, bro, he said X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. I said, man, you know, I ain't got time. It's my daughter's birthday today or whatever. So as he left, you know, my cousin then hit me back. And when I say cousin, first cousin, my, my dad's sister's son, mm -hmm. uh, he then hit back and said, bro, you got to stop being by yourself. And I simply text back, no weapon formed. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, he get the rest. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, yes. you know what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think a lot of dudes, they, they walk around in the army, and it, it, it is true, you know, there's strength in numbers, but at the same time, it's... Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rekar Quraysh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the word ignorantly calls God, and his name in the Hebrew means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name was on begun son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And his name in the, in the Hebrew means he delivers by Shemus in the name. Rekar Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well. Peace and blessings to the sincere ark in this push forward to the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, I want to say shalom to you, brothers, and keep pushing. And a double shalom unto the sincere. I go out them. And the Israelites just look like the other nations. I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters, as well. My name is Delaware Dar from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at it with another video. And just um, touching on uh, the facts that Cam Newton spoke, all right, on 
this uh, podcast, uh, Million Dollars. All right. And just putting it out there, I'm not doing this video for any monetary gain, but just strictly educational purposes only through the Bible. All right. And, um, you know, receiving backlash for his comments. And Cam Newton is absolutely right. And I wish I would have grew up in a household that was like his, because a lot of us, as even men that's in the truth, particularly Great Millstone, we never seen um, a, a mentally stable masculine man. Well, some of us haven't. I, I know I haven't. All right. And even if our fathers is so-called masculine, it's not the, the good kind, you know, is because there is a such thing as toxic masculinity. Yeah. Uh, a man that don't know how to talk to people. All right. Um, you know, just overly trying to show his strength and all that. Yeah, I do agree. It is such thing as toxic masculinity. Yeah, that's how my father was, and that shit toxic as hell. All right, and that just go comes from a a frame of insecurity, because majority of us as Israelite men, we grew up insecure, and you Israelite women, y'all grew up too, insecure. And the Lord is putting us all in order, and a lot of y'all don't like that because y'all been trained by. Um, these different rappers and you know music, you know it's not socially acceptable to be a wife. Yeah, right, you say some stuff like that. Well, he just said, then they consider you a, a like the name of this video is uh, misog misogynist, right? So I just wanted to go over this video and love them and this be edifying. So let's go into the definition of misogynist. Says a person who dislikes, despises, or is strongly prejudiced against women. Man, first off, um, what he said wasn't a misogynist at all. It was more order. All right, and yeah, we are sexist because man and women are not equal. All right, that's what you people out there don't understand. Man and women are not equal. Uh, men are over women. It's that simple. Because uh, y'all the weaker vessel. All right. See, y'all was uh, basically the, the woman was created for the man to be a help me to serve it into the man, which we know a lot of you Israelite women don't believe that shit. And it shows in your actions. That's why marriage is at an all time low. Um, relationships at an all time low. You got a war against men and women. You got men sitting down with harlots and trying to discuss. Um. Why women and men ain't equal, you know, which is really nothing to discuss. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. It's self-explanatory on why a man and a woman ain't equal, all right? A man is a superior vessel to a woman, all right? Mentally, physically, and spiritually, you know, is that it? Uh, a lion is superior to a cheetah, well, as far as strength-wise, yeah. Um, shit, even climbing, all right? Um... But yeah, you women have y'all roles and us men and we have our roles. You know, you got all these different uh, synonyms, so like woman hater, which we don't hate women. Male chauvinist pig, which they call Sean Connery that. He's getting interviewed by the Edomite woman. A male chauvinist pig. All right. Because this is what the world hates, especially when a so-called black man say it. When the so-called black man say things like this, the world is in an uproar because hey, he's showing this uh, masculinity. The world is afraid of Israelite masculinity because that pretty much will take over the whole world. Yeah, that, that is going to take over the whole world. Who is the alpha male? How was sure? This is Isaiah 5 and 20. And it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in our own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Right, so the scripture says, woe unto you. It means what? Destruction. So, um, yeah, hey, all those women that, yeah, yeah, Cam Newton, you know, the da, 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 da. 
Hey, the, the Lord gonna destroy your ass. All right, and we don't even need bitches like you anyway, cause you ain't doing nothing to uh, put our nation in order. The men of the Lord are, and the men of the Lord been saying stuff like this. All right, we been saying stuff like this. But now uh, everybody's starting to see it. Just how often demonic majority of you, you women are. All right. And it's not to put you down. I'm talking about the Israelite woman that's watching the video. It's not to put you down, but it's just the order. You know, it's men is over me as well in this truth. You know, because all men ain't even equal. Some men are stronger. Some men are faster. Some men are smarter. Some men are more creative. You know, because like, we all a body. A body has different functions. You see? Even on a basketball team, they got what you call what? The, uh, the big man. The big man known for his strength, his height. All right? Different functions. It's that simple. Isaiah 8 and 20. And it reads, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, so it's no light in you. Because if we was to pull out uh, certain scriptures in the Bible, I, um, basically the Bible, uh, what well, we call misogynist, because the Bible is a misogynist book, the patriarchy. And you saw Edom, the so-called white man, he destroyed that. He did everything he could to destroy us. Um... So we can be behind. All right, when we come out the womb, curse, if we even make it out the womb, because um, you Israelite women, um, y'all had the most abortions out of any race of women on the planet. All right, sp uh, specifically from the tribe of Judah. All right, because, man, you women are out of order, man. And, and, and shit, we don't even need you either. Now, hey, the Lord gonna replace majority of you women. All right, and you can mark our words and whatever, and say what you want to say. This shit is true, because you ain't doing your job. All right? It's like a car that don't drive. It's either you fix the car or you get rid of it. You junk it. You know, but if the car just not even worth it, you're like, man, forget this car. I might just get a new car. All right, that, that's what you'll do. And that's what the Lord, how the Lord look at a uh, majority of you women. You look at you as trash. So this is uh, Amos 5 and 15. Matter of fact, I started at 14. Seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. And establish judgment in the gate that ye may be. That it may be that the Lord, God of hosts, be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Right. So you got to seek good and not evil. And what's good? The ways and of Yahweh by Shemiel All right? And you got to hate the evil. Because you got to hate this world. Because this world ain't with Yahweh by Shemiel All Because if they was, they would have... They would agree with Cam Newton. They would have been, mm-hmm, yep, that's right. But nah. What are y'all doing? They Y'all uh, disagreeing with them. Because y'all of y'all father the devil. It's Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. All right, and that's what happened. You know, every woman that you get, especially nowadays, this uh, new generation of women is, uh, that's uh, being brought up, they didn't lay with at least like 15 men before they fucking 20. All right? At least 15 men, at least. Now, you had some women in... Um, I ain't gonna call it women. Some sluts in high school that had what, what thirty bodies by the time before they even graduate. That's a damn shame. All right, and then they expect for you to try to get with a. Um, they, they expect for you to not talk about it. And I got it a damn mind. All right. That's why the scripture says a whore that should be counted as spittle. All right, that bitch ain't worth spit. That's a quick pump and dump. If that, because I ain't got to the point where I don't even want to waste my seed. For real, for real. Yeah. Since I, uh, I'm reading again. 
Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing blacks and Hispanic, Native American men and women get shot in the street, fight each other in the street, uh, police brutality, all that. And that land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. Yep. Because a lot of my people, they're going to die here. All right. Because they don't want to get their self right. So the Lord going to leave them here and smoke them. All right. And shall y'all deserve it? Because y'all polluted. Y'all too polluted. So y'all not going to get cleansed from y'all's sin. Because right now, the elect, man, like, we all getting uh, purged. I should say the hopeful elect. Like, we all getting purged of our sins. We're going through our hell now. So that way we ain't going to have to go through hell later. All right. Uh, Sirach 26 and 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing much so worth as a mind well instructed. Right. So as a mind well instructed. Because um, if, you, if, if you say anything to an Israelite woman, she'll, tr she'll try to over talk you, drown you out. You know, she don't want to hear it. So you're pretty much wasting your time. Uh, being with a woman like that. All right. Because uh, he said hey, a woman got to learn how to be quiet. Uh, let her man lead. Hey, because I'm going to say this. A hey, woman ain't going to let me do shit. It's either, you know, I'm going to do it regardless with or without her. All right. Because a man got to learn how to lead himself before he can lead anybody else. You got to have your own self boundaries before you try to get with a woman. And in this society, a lot of us didn't even have boundaries. All right, we really didn't even know what the hell we, we even liked, you know. And uh, pursuing after these women is not really suitable for our spirit. All right. And um, that's why brothers got a lot of baby mamas and stuff. And they done moved on and dealt with other men. Because, shit, it's either we didn't know how to. Um, keep a family together because you know like shit happens you know, not to say that it's all you women fault but yeah majority of it is yeah but you know the men of the Lord we got flaws too alright I ain't trying to say that I'm perfect or nothing because I'm not alright but hey you women y'all gonna have to get it together because hey when Esau eat him come and he ain't gonna show no mercy to none of us all right, and a lot of y'all just gonna get left behind. All right, okay, cause the Lord is pissed off at y'all. Right, any chance that you get to shit on the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man, you don't hesitate. All right, so yeah, it is time for you women to shut the fuck up, because any everything that comes out of your mouth is basically uh, anti-Messiah spirit. That's what the Lord said. You're your father, the devil. All right. Everything that comes out of your out of your mouth is what the serpent taught you. Because right, y'all wholeheartedly believe that bullshit, which you know is bullshit, but you got to try to convince yourself that it worked, and which it don't work. It's all an enchantment, because the statistic shows that that feminist shit don't work. It's not good for the long haul with you women. Verse 15, a shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent mind cannot be valued. All right. And um, yeah, so a shame faced and a faithful woman. Hump means humble. All right. And faithful means she's not committing adultery on you. See? And shit, yeah, a lot of you Israelite women just. Straight adulteress. Yeah, yeah, I got a work husband. I got an in-house. That's wicked as fuck. 
You shouldn't even be playing like that. All right. Because, man. Second Timothy, excuse me, First Timothy two and nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, shame faceness and sobriety, not with broader hair or gold apparel or costly array. All right. So modest apparel. You know the average woman basically walk around naked. All right. Like damn near every year, like each new outfit is more of a villain. You bitches not even wearing panties and bras no more, man. Y'all just walking out the house showing your nipples. You got outfits that show um, your damn thigh. Here, here it is, the outfit tight already. It show your damn shape. And on the side of the outfit, it's showing your thigh. All right. And it's wicked as hell. It makes you advertising yourself like you a damn prostitute or something. And when men come at you sideways like that, you get mad. You ain't even carrying yourself like a lady. Verse 10. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence without subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor to usurp authority over the man. But to be in silence. Yeah. So the Lord said you suffer not a woman to teach. Right. Because hey, y'all can't teach us nothing man. Because that's out of order. And right? for Adam was first formed in Eve. And Adam was not deceived. But the woman... Being deceived was in a transgression, right? So the woman was deceived. Yeah. So it just goes to show you how reprobate a lot of you women's mind are. Because the trick of Israelite woman, all you got to do is just tell her what she want to hear. All right. And the serpent knew that. And even today. All right. Things that put you in order, you don't want to hear that. All right. Things, is, things that so-called empower you, which you really don't empower you, just destroy you. It to turn you into uh, whores and prostitutes and single mothers, or you don't even have kids. You know, <laughs> you're a woman that don't even have kids. That was a damn shame in the ancient world. But you got a lot of women out there that's like that. Now I was standing, she said, be saved in childbearing. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, right? So she's going to be saved in childbearing. All right, if they continue in faith and charity. All right. All right, so that's all I had on that. And I want to say shalom.